My name is C.F. Talley, Jr. They call me Buddy Talley. I live in Fuquay, Greenland, North Carolina. And um, I'm 86 years old. I'll be 87 in October. And uh, I got this neuropathy of the feet two years before my wife died, 20 years ago. She had been dead 20, 18 years. And I got rheumatoid arthritis uh, about 12 years ago. What is what is this, this pain in feet? What, what is that like for you? I'm going to tell you something. A lot of times, I'd rather be dead. I'm not going to kill myself, but I'd rather be dead. But when this stuff come on, it come on gradually. Problems with your feet? Gradually, gradually. My knees. My knees just in the last year. Mm -hmm. My feet. Neuropathy feels just like nails are sticking in my all the way. Right there. Mm -hmm. Say 50 nails sticking. I mean, they're sticking in an uh, inch deep. And the pain is so, so bad. I can't even describe the pain. It's that bad. It, it's hurt so bad. This morning, Tommy rubbed my feet. I cried. I, I, I just hurt so bad. I, I just... And one thing that's very unique about cannabinoids are that they seem to be effective in animal models of nerve-related pain or neuropathic pain. And opioids really do not work in neuropathic pain, but cannabinoids in the animal models do, which is one reason that led us to pursue the investigation of cannabis in patients with HIV-related uh, peripheral neuropathy. But your doctor but, said you do have problems in your feet, though, don't they? Oh, yeah. I, I got neuropathy in the feet, no doubt about that. The blood is... It just ain't getting... It, it ain't getting down there, something. All I can tell you, I've never had anything like this in my life to hurt like this. Uh, opioids are not effective. Many providers use anticonvulsants, uh, which do have some other central nervous system effects. And many patients have told us that their pain actually is better uh, using uh, cannabis. Uh, and again, as mentioned in animal models, uh, cannabinoids seem to be effective. So with funding from the uh, University of California Center for Medicinal Cannabis Research, uh, we conducted uh, first a pilot study to do so-called proof of principle, and then we did a follow-on randomized placebo-controlled clinical trial to assess the analgesic effects of smoke marijuana in patients with HIV-related peripheral neuropathy. Uh, and to compare the analgesic effects of smoke marijuana on clinical and experimental pain. These doctors both need to describe drugs that, that is helping me some, I reckon. They prescribe them everything because they can't prescribe this marijuana. Uh -huh. Tell them about the side effects of some of the drugs you've been taking, the narcotics. What kind of side effects do you get there? My bowels gets, All I, messed I up. mean, stopped up. So yeah. again, we're talking options here for you. We're talking something that's going to be holistic, something that's not going to make you sick, that yeah. can only help you. That's right. But my, my main doctor had got one lung, and he had cancer of that lung. And uh, he was a heavy smoker. He says, I don't know why people, why the government don't legalize cannabis, because it, it, it will stop pain. Your doctor told you that? Yeah. What I see every month. And just skipping to the results, you can see they came in with an average score of about 50 out of 100. For the two days that they were admitted to our General Clinical Research Center without smoking, just to let them adjust to the setting, their pain dropped by 10 points. But then when they started to smoke, uh, their pain dropped 20 points or got cut in half. During the time they were smoking, it remained down. And once they left the hospital, uh, their pain increased again, uh, but not quite to the uh, levels uh, that they had previously. 10 out of the 16 participants experienced a greater than 30% reduction in their average daily pain, which we thought was very nice. This is the effect of marijuana on post-smoke neuro neuropathy pain during the time that the experimental pain model was being done. And you can see here that on day one, there was a significant reduction 
from smoking the first cannabis cigarette, whereas on day seven, the last day of the study where the patients had already been smoking three cigarettes a day, there was no reduction because their pain had already been very dramatically reduced, in some cases to no pain at all. So uh, <clears throat> in this study, uh, 13 of 16 percent experienced a greater than 30 percent reduction after smoking. And this just shows in the experimental pain model, 14 of 16 percent of the 14 of 16 participants <clears throat> experienced a greater than 30 percent reduction in their experimental pain. So everything really lined up very nicely. Everything was very supportive, the same numbers, the same uh, percent showing a reduction. So these results suggested that we did have an analgesic effect of smoked marijuana on HIV related neuropathy, but it was inexperienced smokers and it was unblinded. We used the effect size that we saw, 10 of 16 having a benefit, to calculate the sample size that we would need to do a randomized placebo-controlled study of smoked marijuana. <clears throat> randomized placebo-controlled trials, as we know, are basically the gold standard for getting any drug approved. So we felt, why not do that uh, in HIV neuropathy? And, and we did do that, and we completed the study. The manuscript has uh, been already rejected by one journal and is currently under review at another journal. So the results I'm going to give you in confidence uh, because we don't want it too widely publicized before the journal will publish it. But the placebo group is, is the red line, and you can see they really had very little reduction in their pain. Uh, this is the marijuana group, and the uh, reduction uh, <clears throat> was more significant. 13 of 25 uh, smoking cannabis three times a day had a greater than 30 percent reduction in their average daily pain compared to six of 25 uh, receiving placebo. So that is why you do a placebo-controlled study, uh, because some patients did have a response, but twice as many did, and this was statistically significant. And also it correlated very well with what we saw in the experimental pain model in these patients as well. So, you know, we believe that this is evidence that smoked cannabis compared to placebo is more effective in the relief of pain, and that in fact the results here are very similar to what led to the approval of gabapentin or Neurontin as a treatment for HIV-related peripheral neuropathy. The effect is as large as it is for the currently most frequently used agent for treatment of HIV neuropathy. I never had anything like this. It's the most painful thing you have ever had in your life. I can't even compare it. I've never had anything like it. You're a veteran. Yeah. You served in World War II. Four years. So you served your country. I did. So uh, you're thinking about that cannabis could possibly be an option for you for well, treating your illness? Uh, if, it, if it is, if it would help, I would be all for it. So tell me, sir, if you had the opportunity to talk to your, the, your, the lawmakers for North Carolina, to your state legislators, what, what would you tell them about cannabis? I'd tell them, please do something to get this thing straightened out and, and let people try it. At least try it. And if it works, fine. If it don't work, stop. That's Good. all. I, I tell them that. Please Just let, give let, you the options. Let, let people try this stuff. Give them the chance to try it. It ain't going to kill them. And another doctor I see twice a year, and he's a Duke graduate and smart, one of the best in Raleigh. He says, I don't understand this. Save my life. I know cannabis will help pain. I really? know that. Boy, he's good. Duke graduate. Mm -hmm. He says, I don't know what, what the legislature. I don't know whether they will pass that now, but all I know it will. It will knock out pain. Well, all right, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, I'll tell hey, you. Thank you. That I, I've had it so bad that I, I, I'd rather be dead. And I'm not going to kill myself. Mm -hmm. I'll just fight it out.